Hello, this is the first video in a two-part video series on sound and spectrograms. And I need to do two videos because I want to first upload this video to YouTube and then record a video of us watching the video from YouTube so we can learn about um, how YouTube limits the frequency of sound. So here's a spectrogram. This is the horizontal axis is time and the vertical axis is frequency. So higher frequencies are like ee and lower frequencies are like low. So this one I was playing a piano so we can watch up press. This is a single note. You see it kind of decay away. So one thing, notice a single note is composed of lots of these frequencies. It's really kind of cool. And then you can see the individual keys I'm pressing. higher in frequency. So that kind of gives you some intuition of what this spectrogram is. Another one is here I wrote a Mathematica program to just keep making the frequency get um, more and more. And the maximum frequency way over here is, let's line it up, it's like 60,000 hertz uh, over here. So let's let's play this guy. We can't hear these really low ones. Um, Got to press stop and go here. Press play. So at some point, this cuts out. Um, we can generate a file that goes up to uh, 60,000 hertz, but that doesn't mean we can hear it, and it also doesn't mean my my phone will even record it. Like, for example, here, I I played the that sound on the computer and recorded it with my phone. So let me say, um, zoom to fit. And so we can clearly see that at about 15,000 hertz, it turns off. So let's play this guy. We can't hear anything here. It's below. And then clearly it cuts out. So, I mean, it's kind of a fun way to catch liars. Like if you play this one, the, the visual cue will, will show that, that the sound frequency continues to go up but there's several things that limit that where this one is the the visual cue is kind of proving that no the sound cuts off at about 15,000 hertz and all this is just noise from the uh ambient noise when i was recording it and it looks like we can see sort of integer multiples of the signal that's kind of interesting that the phone picked up when it's recording it another cool thing is just a simple um a constant tone. So this tone is just at uh, 500 hertz. This is just a constant tone. So it's it's right at uh, 500 hertz and it's just a, a sine wave at 500 hertz. So it just sounds constant. So now I want to show you what happens when we double the speed. So if I select from 2 to 4 seconds and go change speed, change it by a factor of 2, Look what happens to the frequency. The frequency goes up by a factor of two. So what does that sound like? It, the amplitude also sound, the amplitude is how loud it is, seems to increase. But I think that's just because our ears are more sensitive to sounds at 1000 hertz and 500 hertz. The amplitude should be constant. So now let's try from four, and a, four to four and a half seconds. Let's slow that down change speed by 0.5 and look what happens from 500 Hertz it goes down to 250 Hertz so let's hear what that sounds like so we can visually see that by speeding it up the frequency increases and slowing it down the frequency decreases um, now let's look at that same thing stop Let's look at that same thing with a uh, human voice. So here's the baseline of my frequent, baseline frequency of my voice, and then here I sped it up. This part will be faster, back to baseline, and then here I slowed it down. 
play. Okay, right now I'm talking directly into my phone. It's recording me. And what I want to do is compare when you double the speed of the playback. How YouTube doubles the speed. Like when I use this audio program to double the speed. So I tried to show you sort of visually, you know, you, we can we can visually see here's the baseline uh, frequency of my voice at half speed and at double speed. But if you do the same uh, test using YouTube's feature of doubling the speed or having the speed, you don't see this shift in frequency. It does a good job of preserving frequency. Now I'm going to upload this to video, upload this to YouTube, and now we're going to watch it back for the second video. Thank you very much.